In this lesson, we'll talk about visibility graphic overrides as part of our display series. And what we're um, talking about here is by default, columns and floors and doors and windows and slabs and beams are all by default set to view a certain way, certain line weight, certain line pattern. Then you can override that per view. So we should have a look at our object styles before we do anything. Under Manage on the top, you have something called Object Styles. These are all the categories, cable tray, casework, beams, doors, ductwork, okay? All these are the categories. You can't create a category. You cannot delete a category. They're factory set, structural foundations, etc. So a structural foundation, unless the graphic override says otherwise, is going to be a line weight of two in projection, meaning in, in the distance. If it's being cut, it's going to have a line weight of five, and it's going to have a color of black. It's going to be a solid line. So unless otherwise specified, model objects, annotation objects, analytical is going to follow these object styles. So now we get into the overrides. What happens is per view, let's say, for instance, I want... Uh, roofs or floors to look differently in this one particular 3D view. If I hover over this, I can check its category by reading my status bar, and it tells me this is a floor, and it's actually a floor. It's on the roof, but they're using a floor as a roof, and there's a reason for that. We're not going to talk about that right here. But regardless, I want to make that floor look differently in this view. So what I do is I can type in VV on the keyboard, Visibility Graphic Overrides, or I can go up to the View tab and I can pick uh, Visibility Graphic Overrides on here. This looks just like the object styles, same categories and everything, but we're going to notice that there's some overrides. So what we can do in here is say, okay, well, in this view, for floors, in projection, I want the line to be red, okay? And I want the line weight to be a four. Hit OK, hit OK, and all of a sudden, all my floors have red edges along the side. If I change this to say hidden line, we'll see that a little better. So I did a graphic override. Floors are now red lines. They're not going to follow the factory set object style. Okay, let's go back and type VV again, VV. We'll go back to our floors and say, oh, oh sorry about that, floors. I want you to be... Um, clear the overrides, go with the factory settings. However, what I do want is my structural columns to be blue and dashed. So I say structural columns, okay, in projection, because they're not being cut here, okay, I want them to be blue, and I want them to be uh, dashed, and I want them to be really wide just to jump off the page. Hit OK, hit Apply, hit OK. And now all of my columns are going to be blue and dashed. Right now, I'm, I'm not set to be wide lines or thin lines. If I type TL on the keyboard for thin lines, TL, TL, thin lines and regular lines. So Revit has a command for thin lines. It's under view. Um, it's over here somewhere. Show thin lines, thin lines here. Thin lines on, thin lines off, okay? It'll always print the non-thin line, okay? Thin line is just for us. You can zoom and zoom and zoom. The line will never get wider. Thin lines off, it's actually showing us the true line weight, okay? So visibility graphic overrides are per view, and you can change the entire category to not follow the factory set object styles. Outside of changing the color and the line weight, you can actually turn the category completely off. Let's go into our VV again, and let's go to not columns, because this architectural columns, we want structural columns. So I'm going to go down to structural columns and just go bloop, turn it off. And I'm going to go to floors and turn floors off. So watch what happens. Hit OK. Not going to be much left. Okay, click out. 
So I've got some rebar in here. I've got walls. I've got beams and foundation. Okay. But I don't have any floors or columns turned on in this view because I've turned off that category. VB on the keyboard. Go back into here and say, oh, sorry about that. I do want to see the doors, which were turned off by mistake or by someone else. I do want to see floors. I want to see furniture, furniture system. You know what? I'm going to turn everything on. I'm going to click on here, scroll all the way to the bottom, do a shift click to grab every category and turn them all on. Hit OK. That's it. Everything is on in this view. If it's not there, it's because it doesn't exist. So that is a per view setting. If you go to a different view over here, you can change that again. Type VV, turn on or off what you want, change the projection line style and the cut line style. Projection is more for elevations in 3D. Cut is more for plans and sections, okay? Meaning things are getting cut. Okay, communication conduit, notice if they're grayed out, they're just not available. Okay, so visibility, graphic overrides, and you can do that on any one view. And once you save that and you get it all set up nice, you can go down here and create a view template from it and then apply that view template to all your other views. So you don't have to repeat it for every view. You get a bunch of your visibility graphic override set up in a view, save it as a template by going up here, create a template from that view, and then apply that to your other views and you don't have to go through and manage all those visibility graphic overrides.